out here and then back in the back. And we'll take one of these easels to each table so you can be able to point to where you're at and, and help us understand. What do your diagrams up here? Okay, that's a good question. Thank you. Um, each one of these diagrams, um, each one being everything in this one, um, shows on it a turquoise line that is the boundary of the basin that we are studying. Everything inside that, that boundary is what we are going to be looking at. And inside that boundary, you'll see some red line dots, and that is the drainage system, the pipes in the ground. Um, if you live outside this green line, do not go away. We still want the information, and we'll get it to the engineering team that study vectors. And uh, so that's what those two. This one here has a contours on it. Uh, it's the topographical lines that gives us a, a view of how the land is flowing. So basically we've got three the same and that. We have sent out letters to a lot of people that's down into the low areas that we, we've tried to get to the meeting. Uh, we've posted this on the community website. Uh, but word of mouth is the best way to, to let to get out this information that we need from anybody who's had any type of problem with water in the house, water in the streets too long, uh, just drainage, stormwater, flooding type problems. Any other questions? Who all has drainage complaints that they would like to get? <coughs> Do y'all live like together or separate locations? We're in this door I have a letter to you. Okay. Thank you. 
1950, the city built a ditch and back in this lake out to the road. Concrete ditch and brought prisoners out. And it's been filled in a long time, so we talked to the people on that property and they said somebody talked to them and said they did the map behind them. Good turnout. Real good turnout. What's the right I think it's this is what happened. I made it for all the oil. This is the principle.